Hello guys, I hope you guys are absolutely fine and doing well in your life, wherever you are right now. So today this video is not going to be anything related to new games or any complaints of the game, but it's just specifically dedicated to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2's long shot camo challenge. Yes, you heard it right, the long shot camo challenge. Well, with all the pain in my head and on my wrist right now because it does take a lot of effort to complete certain numbers of weapons camo challenge in the game precisely. Yes, it does take a lot of time. Long shot kills. Yes, that's what is it, it is called in the game. Landing long shot kills in Modern Warfare 2 is one of the toughest kill types that it is right now. There are several in-game challenges which reward cosmetics to unlock so you can display your expertise in aiming well among those that's where completing the long shot challenge gives you a platinum camo for long shot kill you need to perform any kill with any weapon at a significant enough distance yes there is a specific distance for any specific weapon a significant weapon that you want to unlock the camo for so the trick comes here this is often um, where the effective range of that particular weapon is tested yes you heard it right not all we weapon is greatly effective when it comes to long range uh-huh no so here despite of that although each kill that counts as a long shot will be contributing towards the associated mastery camos of that weapon whatever you have chosen although with all the weapon classes in modern warfare 2 as i say not all will be effective in the long range definitely there's a varying level of efficacy in long distances the distance that qualifies a long shot differs between every classes however there is certain similarities as well so the distances required for a kill to be counted as a long shot for each weapon classes would be for assault rifles battle rifles lmgs marksman rifles or the all these four classes would require a 38 meters at standard or plus to hit a long shot or to be counted as a long shot to be precise after that comes your smgs which is asking you for a 30 meters of standard for a long shot or more than that next the handgun pistols that requires a minimum distance of 20 meters to be counted as a long shot the longer the better next would be your shotguns which requires the least minimum distance for a long shot well 12 meters is also quite a distance to hit with a shotgun it's 12.5 meters to be considered as a long shot and at max what we have to keep in mind is the sniper rifles that you need to keep which is 50 meters to hit a long shot with a sniper well with sniper is not even not that even a big deal it's it's easy you stay on a good vantage position and then you can hit easy shots at a distance of 50 meters of course if you are not spotted with the opponent just in front of you whom you are aiming at snipers is good to go yeah here what i found out is that with shotguns effective ranges does suffer due to its drastic bullet drop yeah at 12.5 meters as i said it's a quite a distance for shotguns as well uh and definitely uh, there is certain limitations when it comes to shotguns but yeah the, you would be able to do it I, I haven't tried none of them frankly my shotguns uh, are left to be done for the platinum camo the rest is i have somehow did manage to do it because gold is the easiest one so far in the game yeah on the other hand um, the pistols are not easy as well because honestly speaking uh, when I started doing this camo challenge, I had my sweatiest moments trying to complete the auto pistols as well as the basilic, which is a revolver. That thing still remains a couple of shots to be completed for the platinum skin. Yeah. And uh, day before yesterday, maybe I have just finished completing the Desert Eagle auto. Right now, we have still got the new revolver, new new pistol that have just came in in season five reloaded. So that one is still yet to be completed with uh, the base base camo everything. So once it is done, I will look into it again. But the boring and the most uh, hectic experience I have had in this process is with the handguns, especially. I will think about it either to go with shotguns or not because it's again going to be a headache. 
but as i said assault rifles are almost done because it was easiest for easy to go easy to hit with the assault rifles and marksmen and snipers are also handy it's gonna be pretty quick to get done and you know what guys uh to get it, this thing done i found that invasion is the best mode you can play to get this thing efficiently done because uh, if you're going for any other modes, it's basically just going to be a heated up match where people are running, jumping, hopping for kills. In fact, it's the same thing with Invasion as well, but not that very much because similarly, the real players would again be trying to do the same thing as you are trying to do. Some weapon challenges, some camo challenges, everything like that. So it's, it's a good opportunity for players altogether, yeah. If you know how to place yourself on a vantage point, you know how to run around, look around for people, easy. For at least uh, your handguns, it's it's gonna be easy in Invasion. I did my handgun challenges in Invasion itself. All things together to keep one more thing in, is, in, in mind is uh, not to forget that you are there for only for the camo challenge. So keep your cool, take placement shots and hit the shots to kill. Yeah, so that way it would get done pretty much easily and much before then you can predict yeah and combining all that itself uh, as i have categorically mentioned here uh, the assault rifles battle rifles lmgs and marksman rifles all four categories are same i'm just i'm repeating just 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 for the sake of remembrance i'm re repeating these things four classes would have the same distance pistols requires 20 meters shotguns 12.5 smgs 30 meters or plus everything mentioned above requires the standard minimum distance mentioned or either plus snipers 50 meters with the melee weapons it's easy you can finish it off in shipment maps because uh, for melees at least shipment is the best map i think to complete melee challenges yes so that's all what i wanted to convey uh, you guys and uh, let me know if you have completed uh, all the weapon camo challenges so far because it's already two years now this game have released and there's already a new call of duty coming up and i have not finished all the camo challenges yet because i don't even feel necessary to do all of the weapon camo challenges at times but again you know my uh what do you call that what do you call that the perfection is mine in, in 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 somewhere there inside it always compels me to think no 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 no. this is left you have to complete this go get it done whenever i go there to have some fun i look at the guns camo skins and it just comes up to the mind and i just feel like okay let's do this but as a human mind when i try to do do that sometimes it just gets too clumsy that i feel like ha, let it go man who's gonna do this but then again my mind changes as i said I tried to finish the most hardest things first with the handguns. Right now, it's only the Basilic and the new pistol that remains uh, to complete the camos altogether. Yeah, rest of them is somehow done, <laughs> somehow because it was not easy with handguns, honestly. And rest of the classes remained as well. Uh, the best thing that I completed is with uh, launchers. Yes, one thing is missed: launchers. Launchers is also easy, so there is nothing to be worrying about launchers. It's easy, it's quick, well, you will get it done quickly. Uh, so launchers is one of the only class that I have completed uh, platinum, gold, all the base. Rest of the ch classes, base is complete, gold is complete, some of them is still remaining for the platinum. So once we are done with maybe 29, I guess 29 or 25 platinum uh, camo challenges, we would be able to get the polyatomic quite decent enough camo yeah so that's all for this uh, video uh please let me know in the comment section that how do you play your games and how do you prefer to complete all the challenges at once or maybe uh, on different intervals let me know that thank you for being here staying tuned and see you next time